Are you a coach, a digital course creator, or an entrepreneur who already has a podcast or who's thinking about launching a podcast? If you are, then this video is for you. Okay, the very first question that I get every single time I publish a new episode of my video podcast is, Sandy, what is the equipment that you use? How do you have it set up? And how do you get the video and audio? And I wanted to tell you guys, Knowing the equipment and the setup and all that is important, but it's not as important as it is to know your why, your target audience, the style or the format of your podcast, in my case, video podcast, and all that is something that I cover within my digital course, Content Canvas Academy. But because you have been asking about the equipment, I am going to give that information to you today. All right, so the very first thing that I do, I separate the equipment into four different categories. Instead of saying lights, camera, action, I actually say lights, cameras, mics, software, okay? So let's go through those one by one and I can show you all the equipment that I use and how I have it set up. So the very first thing with the lights, I use three different lights. The first one is called the Limo Studio Light, and I'm, I'll show you in a minute uh, what that one looks like. But basically, is a directional light that I put with an umbrella on one side of my face. And when I show you the setup, you'll see why. Is because on this other side, I actually have natural light from the window. So this side of my face has enough light, but this one, if I don't use that light, I would actually have a, a darker side or a, a shadow, if you will. So it's important to make sure that you find balance uh, for the light when you are setting all this up. Uh, the second light is called the newer Ring Diva Light, okay? And that one usually I have right in front of me. That is why you see that little circle in my eyes. And um, this is the one that, you know, the Kardashians actually made it really famous because that is what they use to uh, get their pictures taken and their photos and they look beautiful. They actually make you have a beautiful, natural glow on your face. And the third light that I use is exactly the same as the big diva light, but it's actually a portable one, okay? And it has a clip and this one you put right on your phone and then you can turn it on as you can see. And it has different lights um, levels, if you will, and then um, it's really good when you are out and about or when you're doing an interview that is off-site um, and also when you are taking selfies, etc. So those are the three types of lights that I use and I'll provide all the details, uh, but you can pretty much find everything within Amazon. Let's go on to cameras. So the very first camera that I use is a Logitech camera and it's a webcam. And that one I put right in the top of my computer screen. So that way every single time that I'm doing a video podcast, that one is directly recording into the software that I use to do my interviews, okay? And there is different versions. The one that I use is the C930E. Now, the next one is your good old, good old iPhone, okay? And maybe you have a different phone, not an iPhone, but a phone sometimes can be your best friend because you can use that camera and not even need any of the other cameras to record your videos, okay? So, and actually, as a matter of fact, that is how I started my video podcast. I was just recording directly from my phone. All right. And the last camera that I use, and this is uh, what I call camera number three. So I have camera number one, the Logitech, number two, my phone, number three, this um, stationary camera, which is a Nikon D850, okay? This is totally option, optional for you. If you have a SLR camera that you want to set on the side, what that helps to do is when you're actually 
um, editing the video, you can take bits and pieces from each of these three cameras. And the idea is that you technically will have them all set up in a different place so you can have different angles, okay? And that makes it look a little bit more cinematic and it's not as boring just looking at one, you know, a talking head. All right, the next things are the mics. And I have one right here, as you can see. This is the Blue Yeti mic. And I absolutely love this mic, but it wasn't the very first one that I had. It's not what you um, want to invest on if you're just starting, okay? Because it does cost a little bit of money. So my recommendation is that you use, um, if you're connecting or going through your phone, just use your earphones and there is a mic on this, and that will be a really good start. And really, about all this equipment, my recommendation is that you don't make that investment up front. Like, just get the basics first and see if you're willing and able to stay committed to release episodes on a weekly basis, and also to find out if it's really something that you like. If you do find out that this is something that you like, then I start investing. And that is exactly what I did. I didn't have all this when I started, okay? Uh, so the one thing that I like about this mic is that it's attached to my desk. Actually, my husband drilled a hole on my desk and attached it. And I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. And then it's retractable, it's movable and, and all that. And it also has this um, for vibration around it. So if I just bump into my desk when I'm talking, then it reduces the noise, it reduces the vibration, okay? So that, that is one that I use. Now, the other one is a Rode um, uh, Lavalier mic. In this one, actually, you can hook up directly to your phone or to your computer. And you basically just put it on your clothes and you can talk and actually, I have two of these ones in case that I'm doing an off-site interview. So that way I can ensure that the person that I'm interviewing also has as good as a sound or um, voice, digital voice as I do, okay? Um, so that's, that is the second one. And then the third one that I have is a Rode mic and I have that one at the top of my um, SLR camera, okay? So as you can see, I have these three audios and any time that I'm recording, just the same way that I have the three cameras, I can capture just in case, so you can have a backup in case of an emergency, all right? Now, that was lights, cameras, and mics. Let's go into the software. So the software that I use is called Zoom. Now, you can use many other ones. There is other ones. I chose to use Zoom just because I'm super familiar with it from the time that I was working in the corporate world and it just works and is easy to use. So that is the only thing that I use to record. Um, obviously there is other um, uh, softwares that need to be used for the editing, but because I don't take care of the editing myself, I actually outsource that. I don't worry about it, but most people use Premiere, um, Adobe Premiere for their editing of their videos. All right, so now you heard everything that I have with regards to the technology that I'm using. I went through the lights, the cameras, the mics, and the software. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how I split that into a video versus an audio. So basically what I do is once everything is recorded, I take the recordings from all three cameras, okay? Remember from the Zoom that I recorded with the Logitech, from my phone, as well as the um, SLR. And then what I do, um, I upload those for my editor, all those videos for my editor, and I send those to him. And what he does, is the Zoom one actually gives you audio separate from video. So he edits everything and I ended up with a ton of content that I can use but I, because I can cut it into small little pieces which we call micro content or the larger version of it, which is the one that I usually publish onto YouTube, which is the macro content. 
Now, those are not the only two pieces of content that you can use. You can actually reuse and repurpose your content for many other uses. For example, you can take that video and turn it into a 15 second video that you can upload onto your stories. Or you can do a 60 second video that you can upload to your feed, both on Instagram, or you can actually upload to your IGTV. Um, also, the longer version is the one that you post to your website, you can post it to YouTube, you can then push all that onto Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. So as you can see, just from one time that you sit down and you record all of this content, you end up with a ton of content that you can use for many different things across all different social media platforms. Okay, now let us go and cover the last point, which is the actual setup. Now, as you can see over here, I have that road mic that I told you about. Actually, this is, sorry, this is the Yeti mic uh, that I told you about. And my husband, as I explained to you, he attached it right here to my desk. And you can bring it up and down and closer to your face and to, um, so you can talk like this. All right. The other one that I told you about was this Logitech uh, camera, all right? And that is the one that I put right at the top of my computer screen. So it's recording directly from the Zoom. And then the last camera that I told you about is this one right here, which is my Nikon camera, which as you can see from here, is technically recording from that angle. So this camera is recording from my right side, that camera is recording from my left side, and then this camera is typically recording straight. So different angles to give it that cinematic look. Now about the lights. Talked about the Limo Studio, and that's the name right there. And let me show it to you. It comes with an umbrella. That is the light. I actually ended up buying a bigger bulb so I, it, it gets brighter because I get a lot of light. Remember I told you that I have that window on the right side of my face. As you can see, when I'm sitting here, I have that window on this side of the face. So I get a lot of natural daylight. But that one basically is here on the left side. And as you can see, you can see that glow comes from my left side. And then I told you about the Diva light and there is the Diva light, as you can see. Um, so those are the three cameras. Those are the three lights. And then for the mics, I told you about this one. I already showed you this one. Oh, and I forgot to show you about the Rode mic which is right on top of the camera right here. So as you can see, you can see it from there. You saw now all three mics as well. So I really hope this was helpful to you. You now have my secret, you have my setup. I welcome you here to my house, to what I call my studio, my office. So you can also set up your studio so you can start recording video podcasts right now. Nothing stopping you. You have everything that you need in order to share your voice and share your message with the world. Now, if you are interested on learning more about how to launch, how to get ready and how to promote a video podcast, I would love for you to join me on my digital course, Content Canvas Academy. The registrations will be opening soon, so we have the wait list. Please go to the link in bio and sign up to be the first one to find out when we open the doors for registration. I really hope to see you there.